In this lesson, we're going to take a close look at the timeline in ACID Pro. The timeline is the area in the screen which is on the right side of the main window, and it represents a timeline of your song or your video project or your commercial or whatever you're doing in ACID Pro. It looks pretty busy, but it's really easy to understand. Each one of these horizontal lines represents a track, which is listed to the left. The tracks are independent of each other. So, this fuzz guitar track is independent of the hydroponic hip-hop promo track. They play together in the timeline, but they're separate. That means I can move each event, modify it, change it as I wish, without affecting the other. Now, you'll notice that I can have multiple events on each track. Now, for the sake of clarity and the way I kind of like to work, I normally make each event type of the same loop, but that doesn't have to be the case. For example, let me scroll back a little bit here. I've got Prague Fuzz Guitar 38 here on track 9. I can make as many loops of this type on my timeline here as I want. But I can also bring up other tracks. I just copied that. I'm going to paste it beside this. So it doesn't have to be the same loop that you put on the same track. It just depends on your workflow and what you want to do, how you want to kind of integrate your sound. I find that I like to keep them separate, so I will keep all my Fuzz Guitar 38s on one track and all my Fuzz Guitar 36s on another track. And then I'll just lay them on top of each other. All right, the other thing you'll notice about the track timeline here is on the top you can see the measure and the beat within each measure. Let's zoom in. This is measure 30. We'll play that measure. There are four beats to it because we're in 4-4 four, four time. And then we go to measure 31. The more you zoom in, the more finely timed and measured is that timeline. Now we can see each beat, which are subdivided then into four elements. So let's select this area, turn on loop playback, play this measure. We're playing that over and over. Alright. On the bottom you see a time display. We're at a minute 13 in the song and this loop goes to about a minute 17. You can modify how the time is displayed from the View menu, Time Ruler. You can turn it off as well as show it by different parameters. Frames, time and frames, samples, audio, CD time, etc. You can zoom in and out of the timeline with these pluses and minuses to show the entire project. You can also use the scroll bars to move up and down in the track list and timeline. I like to use my mouse wheel to zoom in and out. It's really easy. If you double click on scroll bar to the right, it minimizes the tracks or it changes them to normal size. Okay. If you press this plus, it changes the track heights. So a lot of flexibility there in deciding how you want to view events and tracks. A little magnifying glass allows you to zoom in on a particular area. Okay, on the bottom of the timeline there's your record button, your loop playback button. If you press loop playback and you click and drag your loop region you can specify where you want to loop. This is great for working in a 
a project where you're trying to get the sound just right in an area and you don't want to play the entire song over and over. You just loop it to wherever you're concentrating on and work in that region. You can see this flashing black and white line is our marker where we currently are at. If you click that and zoom in, you will zoom in on that marker. And that, that takes a while to get used to. A lot of times I'll be, I'll have my timeline down here and I want to zoom in over here and I'll forget and I'll zoom in. Just got to zoom back out, reselect an area that's close to where you want to zoom into and then zoom in. You'll notice at the top I've got these markers which divide the song into several regions. You can also insert other things like time markers, tempo changes, CD track markers, and so forth. So it's informational. Alright, this is really where the action happens when you're mixing your music. This is where you put all of your events and all your sounds, you lay them on your tracks, you mix them together and create the sound you want. All right, I think we can wrap this lesson up. You should now be able to work your way around in the ACID Pro timeline.